Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 13th to June 19th, 2022. This is a general reading, so feel free to take whatever resonates and leave behind for others, whatever does not. To go deeper into what lies ahead this week, check out readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. On June 13th, Mercury, which rules messages in the mind, enters its home sign of Gemini. On June 14th, there is a strawberry supermoon in Sagittarius, which inspires adventure, expansion of the mind, and seeing what's ripe for the picking. This reading explores those themes. In this first column, we get a message from the collective unconscious. You have heart, home, compassion. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, and Tower. In this second column, you get a message from your higher self. Moth spirit, surrender now. You have two of coins, five of wands, two of cups and in this third column you find out where your truth is leading you you have this vesta hearth card you also have sun knight of cups and wheel so here this heart home compassion message from the collective unconscious is basically saying to have compassion for yourself, compassion for others, um, be in a place where you kind of suspend judgment or criticism and um, focus on you, focus on um, whatever gives you a sense of comfort and um, recognition of self-care. With this tower here, it may indicate that, um, you know, uh, some place that you felt uh, you belonged, um, divine intervention kind of came in and knocked away that belief. These could also be like a, a false belief that you have or Perhaps you built up something in your mind uh, that turned out not to be as sturdy as um, you hoped it would be or expected it to be, but try not to be, uh, you know, judgmental um, and just allow yourself to find peace wherever that may be for you, wherever you find your place, um, where your home would be, wherever you're, where you have unconditional love coming about. Um, with the Ace of Wands, it does indicate uh, a rebirth or a rebuilding after this tower situation, a new opportunity to pursue um a relationship, a journey, an adventure, a job, um, creative spark. With the Page of Swords, this is um, this is a card of uh, I. I kind of am conflicted with this card here. It's usually about you know messages and learning and being curious. But it's also about, um, uh, it's an immature energy um, involving, you know, some spying, possibly thinking you know it all type of thing. So here it's a, a call for non-judgment and really um, just being and not necessarily digging or investigating or, you know, looking at people's social media 
pages or um, going online and posting how you feel or uh, it's just about being in a place of peace and allowing yourself to um, re-energize, rebuild from the heart center. So let's take a look at this tower. You have the two of swords and this is uh, a, an indication that you know maybe you were hesitant about something you didn't really know about um, you didn't have enough information about something maybe that's where this page of swords comes in being curious and wanting to know things uh, perhaps you filled the gap of non-knowing with um, you know, irrational hopes, irrational fears. Let's take a look at that Page of Swords. It's Ace of Swords. Here is the sense of clarity and truth, um, honesty, communication. So if you had to choose between, you know, building a false tower and, uh, digging in for information, spying a little bit. I guess this is the lesser of the two evils, but this card is really calling calling just to be at peace, just, you know, letting go of certain judgments, certain expectations, um, and just focusing on um, being in the place to forgive. It's not saying you have to forgive right now. It's just being in a place where you feel comfort and that you can just be. So let's take a look at this Ace of Wands here. You have the star. So definitely an opportunity to heal, um, to get a sense of balance, inner balance in, and, uh, and clarity here. So this message for from your higher self is this moth spirit, this surrender now, which is you know, similar to the uh, this heart home in the sense of really not necessarily going out there and taking action on anything, just allowing yourself some um, some time to um, figure out where you you're at to really not um, strive for anything, not to avoid anything, not to aim for anything, but just really just surrender any goals and um, avoidances and kind of get in that place of like moderation uh, it's kind of making me think of temperance or um and hangman but even the star is you know pretty good enough where it's just being in a place of of balance to clear your energy to um just allow things to um relax and and just be so here with the two of cups it's a sense of um you know this is about messages this column's about message from your higher self so here it could be just a, a card of getting more balance between you and your higher self um you and um not really um, not really fighting yourself to please others, possibly. And here with the two of coins, again, it's a sense of balance, of balancing work and play, um, balancing your priorities. Um, it seems that there is a, a strive for just well, I said don't strive for anything, but 
your higher self wants you just to like relax so that you can really figure out um, just be and get a sense of clarity, get, uh, you know, re renewed in your uh, recharged, rejuvenated in your heart and be in a place once you've done surrendering to be in a place of harmony and balance and not so much in this five of wands situation of conflict and struggle and um what's the other word i'm thinking of instability so let's take a look at that five of wands here so even if there is a situation where you feel like you have to you know compete and butt heads against people just like you know just yeah sure go ahead you're right you know you know there's there's no need to um, assert your position just kind of just let things happen right now you have the eight of pentacles so for some of you this has to do with you wanting to create something you actually having an intention to manifest something into the material world whether it's uh, a job that you have where it, whether it's a career path or an education program that you're on or um, you know a, a painting or, or perfecting uh, sourdough bread whatever it is um, it's understandable that you want to stick with that but wherever things there's wherever you're finding resistance just kind of you know surrender and not necessarily have to make things a certain way let's take a look at the two of cups over here you have the four of cups and this is a sense of um can be introspection can be melancholy it might be that your higher self is asking you to take some time to uh, meditate so that you can really calm down the chatter uh, around you um, perhaps do something if meditation isn't your cup of tea uh, do something that you know calms you maybe doodling um, or painting or even you know trying on new makeup or trying on uh, different shoes or something let's take a look oh and also um, just being aware of your surroundings this kind of be in the present moment. You, you can surrender, but um, that's different from being in the present and accepting what's going on in the present. Let's see what's going on with that two of pentacles. You have an ace of cups. And this is, um, well, both of these aces here are you know gifts from spirit from source from the universe uh this indicates you know once you get into this flow into this balance where um you're really releasing expectations and uh like preconceived notions of things you're going to be able to tap in more with yourself your environment and intuition and really um get more enjoyment from each moment in this third column where you, we find out where your truth is leading you it's leading you to this vesta this hearth so this card is kind of about uh vesta who would basically um 
keep the hearth going so that like the gods could be fed. Uh, there's this concept of really not taking sides to any like political point of view and really helping um, to support the community and um, kind of recognizing what is important to, um, you know, like is being, being right important or is it more to live in a joyful, um, to, to live where you can maximize joy and minimize, you know, suffering. So here you have the sun and this is about joy, this is about energy and enlightenment. You have the Knight of Cups. And this is messages from the heart. This is um, pursuit of love, creativity, imagination, connections with others. And you have the wheel, which is always turning. There's always going to be changes, things that you can't control. Um, and the best place to be when the wheel is turning is in the center. And, you know, focusing on what your center is, where you get a sense of uh, peace, where you can find love and compassion, where you can f find um, joy and give and receive love. That finding what really matters to you without giving up who you are um, in that process, but, um, you know, recognizing where you can really tap into yourself to be the best version of yourself. So let's take a look at this sun card. Oh, holding these upside down. You have the Knight of Swords. And this knight is about action. Whereas the Knight of Cups is more about uh, receiving, giving and receiving. Um, this this night is about making things happen, possibly not getting all the uh, the facts or having a solid game plan. But you know, for some of you, it's almost a call to recognize how you view people of this energy. Um, that enter your life, uh, people that come in, you know, <laughs> rush in, um, make things happen, and kind of leave and without you recognizing, you know, where they went. It's one of those uh, people like uh, the friend that always is begging you to go out and whenever they go out, all they do is talk to other people or um, you know, rush around and you're just following them around as they're doing things. And then it's like, bye. It's like, where did that come from? So that's the kind of thing that I, I'm kind of sensing here is to recognize the, uh, being aware of your environment, being aware of what, like, makes you feel comfortable, lights you up. And the people that sur you surround yourself with that help you give and receive love and those who kind of come in and almost uh, call the shots and, you know, Libra, you like to get along, keep the peace, you know, have a sense of harmony. Maybe you tend to go along with things that um, longer than you want to. So let's take a look at the, the Knight of Cups. You have the Four of Wands. And so this is that card 
of home. It's even shaped like, uh, you know, the walls and a roof here, heart home. So definitely this truth of finding what lights you up, what is it that makes it where you don't have to make any um, particular stance or decision and just be and just give and receive love. This thing that lights you up celebrates, celebrating life, celebrating community. And let's take a look at the, the wheel here. You have the two of wands. And then this two of wands, I think it's really interesting, these two of wands, because it's about, you know, perception. Um, this big ball in the center, which, you know, in the traditional two of wands, there's an individual that's holding like a, you know, little earth or globe in their hand. So that can be, you know, the world. And it's a question of whether or not it'll fit through those two wands. Is it coming? Is it going? Um, is it too big to fit through? Is it perfect? And this sense of awe from this individual here. And two wands is basically a decision um, or planning to get outside of your comfort zone and do something that is a little bit different. So here um, it seems like you have all the twos. You have the two of swords, two of pentacles, two of cups, and the two of wands. Um, you know, Libra, I know you like balance. I know you like with the scales there. Um, it's a sense of duality. And here it's almost as if um, the, the question is, who do you prioritize over yourself? Is it you and your higher self working in harmony and unison, or do you kind of go against your your own best interests to, um, you know, follow along to make others happy, to uh, be on someone's good side, because you know for whatever reason. So that's for you to uh, look at. And I'm hoping it provides a helpful perspective of your week. And we'll see you next time. Take care.